All right, guys, I am back. I have my nine blocks. You count nine here. And I have changed my final color over. This is the color I will be using to complete this. And now we will be working on our, do our um, decreasing. I have a little helper over here. I'm not sure how much help he's going to be, but uh, he's hanging around. That's Henry. He's my he's my buddy. He's a uh, he's he's a good helper. Can't you tell that? So now we'll be working on our decreasing. So once you get your final color going, um, whichever color you want to decrease. Uh, or finish off your end with what you're going to do is you're going to be you're going to be going this way with the final uh, row or working on the wrong side and what you'll do is you will slip stitch into the fi uh, first chain three which is here the chain three space so you will slip stitch here okay and then you will chain three and then you will work your block so let's work three double crochet here into this space. Okay. And then you'll just move right along and go to the next space and work your block. So chain three. And then you'll put three double crochet right into the same space. And just keep in mind you'll have a total of four double crochet in each um, gap space. So slip stitch, chain three, and then you'll put three double crochet in each. So four total makes a block. And we will be working in de decrease from here until the end of this project. Okay, so work this until the very end block and don't do anything till I reach the end block with you and I'll be right back to show you how to finish that All end right, guys. Row. So at the end of this row, we're not going to make a block here. You're just going to go into that gap and you're going to do a slip stitch and pull through. That way you don't finish it off to make a block. You're just closing that end off. So now what you'll do is you're going to turn, and you can change your color here. I'm not going to change anymore. So what you're going to do here now is you're going to block in the next chain three space. So you're going to jump over here and do a slip stitch as well. Chain up three, and do your three double crochet in this chain three space. And this will be your first block of this row. So each row will go down by one block. So now you'll jump to this next space, slip stitch, and chain three. And then you'll put your three double crochet in there as well. And that means each row will go down by one block, just like over here, it went up by one block. So you're just gonna keep now you're just going to keep decreasing each row until you're down to one block. So it's just going to be the same procedure until you're down to one block. All my yarn over here is getting tangled up. Okay. Me and Henry, we were in there baking some blue raspberry cake. And he smells every time we're baking something, so he thinks it's for him. Henry, you're not doing a very good job at unraveling your mama's yarn here. I'll have to hire me somebody to do it. Okay. <clears throat> so we're still doing double crochet blocks. Just doing your slip stitching and chain three and three double crochet. It's just the same repetitive pattern whether you're pretty much increasing or decreasing. <clears throat> okay, 
This is the last one of this row before we minus ourselves one here. Okay, so now just like we did on the last row, you're going to go into that chain three space and just do a slip stitch. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we have seven blocks. Okay, so now you're going to go to this next gap, pull through and through, chain three, and then do your three double crochet right into that same block. Okay, and then you'll jump to the next gap and then do your block. Okay, and when you get down to about three blocks, I will meet you back up and we will finish those last two to three blocks up together. Okay, so get down to those last three blocks and I'll join you back up. Alright guys, you see that I've got just a corner left to work, so I have uh, joined up here. Well, I was sitting in the chain three, but I joined right here, so let's turn. And then we're just going to slip right over here to this next corner. And then we'll chain our three. And then we'll just start working this block together. We just have a couple more to go. Okay. Let's work this one. Then we'll chain our three. Do some more yarn here. Okay. Join that one. And these, like I said, these grow super fast, so there's not a super lot of time put into these. You can make several washcloths or dishcloths in a day's time with these. Alright, so we joined there, so now we're just going to turn and we're going to join in this next one. Alright, and then we're going to chain three here. And then we'll build this corner. We're pretty close to finishing off. Okay. Join this one. Chain three. Sometimes at the end it's kind of hard to tell which one's the end corner, which one you need to finish off at. But Okay, so we'll take a look and see what we got. Okay, and then we'll join right there. And then we'll turn, join here. And then we should be doing one more. Let's do this last corner. And of course my cat's going to come ruin the whole video. Okay, let's do a little bit more yarn here. And now we'll just join this up right at the corner. Okay. And that is pretty much it for the uh, corner to corner dishcloth and they come out lovely and I tucked all my corners in um, while I was taking a break uh, in between and you'll have to stretch these out because sometimes the corners um, as you're pulling them together they do get a little bit snug so this is your corner to corner dishcloth from Yarn Inspirations, and I don't see um, a number to the pattern. So you just go to the website and you type in corner to corner, 
or you can type in dishcloth and their website is awesome because you can also type in the yarn type that you would like and it'll pull up those uh, uh, patterns as well so um, again that gave you a good idea for those of you that had been wondering how to decrease that is a form of decreasing when it comes to the corner to corner or the better known uh, C to C crochet so um, that gave you two and one as far as decreasing on this project and also another alternative project to the uh, corner to corner um, fad that's going on as far as crochet world okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and until next time, guys, happy hooking!